do you remove your thank you for creating with WordPress and the version? Well, you have many different ways, but I look around the internet, but I didn't find any. And the one I found didn't work, so I just had to do it myself. Uh, well, one well, thing I did, I just opened my Dreamweaver and I, I downloaded the whole folder and I looked through by searching the keyword. So when I searched the keyword, I found the keyword that was uh, in the sprint, uh, in the print of uh, the admin footer from line 35. So that's what the thing is. So what you do, I can see here is within admin and admin footer. So you go to your transmit, okay? You open your root of WordPress, you open your admin, and then you open your admin footer uh, within your drone river. And once you open it, you will see that you got the line 33, okay? And if you want to remove the whole thing, what you do, you remove from one line 33 all the way to line 62. Okay, so that's what you will have to remove. Once you remove this whole thing, you go back a little bit uh, to remove the line and you do save. Okay, so once you do save, the, uh, your file is saved, you go back to your admin dashboard, you update your admin dashboard. And first thing that you will receive is that the whole thing is gone, just disappeared. So that's the thing right here, gone disappeared. But since it is a, a local and manual removal, what happens is that if you update your WordPress, not your plugins, but your actual WordPress, from, for example, now the WordPress is, that I have is a 5.2.2. So if you update your whole WordPress to 5.3 or whatever uh, higher version, it may happen that the, the file that's inside here, the footer be replaced by the new files that the WordPress will bring in. So in that case, you will need to do the same, uh, uh, the same uh, modification again, so because it's manually. So um, beside that, your WordPress can scan your whole system and tell you that you have some issue. If it does, uh, if it does, it will tell you that if um, admin file has been modified. In that case, you will go to the issue. You will see the issue somewhere here. You click on the issue, and once you click on the issue, you will have the possibility to simply say mark at fix. So you will see the issue. Like in this case, like that, you click on details over here, you make details, and then you will come here and then you will see mark as fixed. But here is just an example, it's not the actual issue. But in case the issue of the uh, file admin file shows up, that's what you have to do. Uh, beside that, you can uh, go back. Let's say, let's go back, uh, let's bring this back. Okay, we're going to bring this whole thing back and we're going to save it. Okay, we're going to save it and double check here, and we have we will see our footer coming back. So we have our footer right now. Let's say you want to modify just maybe this line and then put your brand. So what you do, you go back, you open your admin footer, and if you don't have um, um, Dreamweaver, what you can do, you can actually open within Transmit or even with uh, text edit. Uh, with text edit, you will have to figure out what's the line at because in text edit you don't have the specific line showing, so you will have to read through and try to find. And in this case here, it will be this line, this one right here. So that will be this one right here. So that will start from this all the way to let me see, all the way to here. That will be in text edit. But to make it easy. We open with uh, edit in transmit, and because it will show you the line. And if you, because you don't have a um, um, uh, Dreamweaver, so you just open within transmit. And once you do so, you look for line 33. That will be from here, line 33, because you can see here it says align left. This is the footer that goes here in the align left, and you can see. Uh, the second one for footer upgrade, this is align right, and that's the one you see over here that align right. So, if you want to only modify uh, the left with your branding, 
So you come here and you can say, for example, uh, powered, okay, powered by cop, uh, cop, uh, cop store. There you go, cop store. And then here, uh, no, you can actually buy cop. And then you come here and then you say store like that. Okay, so that would be the cup store. You remove this like that. Okay, you move it like that. Actually, what we can do, we can simply uh, bring this back and then come over here and say cup store.com. Okay, let's search for this one. Hold a second. Uh, that would be. And then is okay. There's only one instance. So we do this one, and then we say we 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 go now to the um, version, and then we can remove the whole line for the version. That would be from line forty six all the way to line sixty two. So we remove this one. I'll go back a little bit. We save this one. So once you save this one, you can come here and you refresh. The version will be gone. And you have now branded to your arm. You see, so if you click inside, it goes back to your arm store. Okay. So you have the choice to either do that or remove the whole uh, branding here. You see, so it goes back to your own store. If you go back, it's the same thing. We have the line showing powered by your own store. So that's something that you can do. So again, we have to modify the line 35, okay? You remove simply the text that you would have seen, and then you remove the WordPress that you would have seen here, and then you adjust the link for your uh, for your website once you do that you remove the the, the version uh, of the right as i showed you let me go back a little bit to do it again so you see you we have to remove the thank you for creating with you remove it and then you replace with something powered by and the wordpress next you remove it you put cup store or your brain and then after you remove the link website you put yours and after you go line 46 to 62 and you remove this whole thing and then you go back a little bit and you save that's what you do once you do that you're good and you'll be able to have your own brain for what it is that's the manual one again um that's manual so it may happen that if you update your wordpress not your plugins, but if you have your actual WordPress, what happens is that you will go back and change the file here, that file, because it may happen that the whole file be changed. In that case, we have to do it again manually.